What's the state of the mobile browser ecosystem? Uh, I know that's a big question. Yeah, it's a big question. The, the thing is that right now, uh, it depends on the market. But usually we have more than 40 browsers, different browsers. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, but we can, we can mention, I mean, well-known browsers sure. like Safari. Now we have Google Chrome on Android 4. Now we have i9, also Windows Phone. Then we have Firefox, Opera. And then a lot of uh, non-well-known browsers like the Android browser mm -hmm. that's not Chrome. Right. So <coughs> then we have Netfront. For example, more than 12% uh, of the mobile web browsing right now is from a browser called UC Web. So yeah. that's from the China market. Huh. So it's a browser for the China market. So it's more than 15%, like 10%, 15% of the whole ecosystem. So for, for web developers, you need to deal with a lot of web browsers. And there are a lot of new applications that I used to call pseudo browsers, mm -hmm. like the new Yahoo Axis. Right, so right. it's not really a browser mm -hmm. because it's using the same rendering engine like the default browser. So it's like the same browser with, with some things around. Sure. But it's basically the same browser, the same Safari for iOS. So, I mean, how does that complexity compare to two years ago? Has it gotten uh, no, exponentially it's, uh, more it's, complex? Yeah, it's more complex now. So it's trying to, because um, instead of having less browsers, we have more browsers. Yeah. So every new platform that is appearing right now has its own browser. So for example, this year we are going to lead with new, two, with two new platforms in the mobile space. That's Butchu Gecko. It's a new platform from Mozilla, a mm -hmm. new operating system, a mobile operating system, and Tyson. Mm -hmm. Tyson is a new operating system from Intel, Samsung, and other vendors. And they will have their own browser. Of course. So they will be similar because they're using WebKit. Like for example, Tyson is using WebKit, so it will be similar to Chrome, Safari, but not the same browser. It may have different HTML5 compatibility, new APIs. Um, but to get going, it will be Firefox. So the thing is that uh, the, the, the ecosystem is getting more complex. And it will be in this way, I believe, in the future. The, so the, 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 the challenge here is how to create like, maybe one code that will work uh, well, well and seamless on every mobile platform now and in the future. Is that possible? Well, yeah, it's just possible. The thing is that right now we have a lot of platforms a little buggy, so that's the problem. And I believe that's because sure. we are in the first years of, of the mobile web right. space. So right. we still have a lot of platforms. Even, for example, Android browser that has a lot of market share right now. So Android browser for, for an HTML5 developer is like a pain right now. <laughs> so it has, has a lot of problems. <laughs> So right. that's why Google is, uh, is delivering Chrome right. for the future. So, but right now we, we still need to deal with Android browser for yeah. maybe a couple of years. So it's the messy period right now. Yeah, right? exactly. Well, what do you see as the most promising mobile HTML5 features? Well, everyone is, everyone is looking at the camera, right? Sure. So everyone wants camera access. So with the camera and using geolocation and, and the accelerometer, gyroscope, you can create um, augmented reality experiences. But I believe that there are other features that are going to be maybe more useful, right? Like, like web and NFC. Mm -hmm. So we can use NFC mm -hmm. tags from, from a website or even uh, the, the ability to share uh, information between websites. Mm -hmm. So, for example, instead of uh, now uh, hard coding some code for Facebook, Twitter, and Google Plus, for example, sharing capabilities, we can just say, I want to share something, and the browser will detect which uh, applications or website you want to share on. Oh, okay. So, right. w developers will not uh, need to hard code mm -hmm. some social network information. It will be just the share information and we have like that's called web intent. Mm -hmm. So that's the API. Then we have, for example, full screen API. So with a full screen API, we can get full screen experiences without need, without the need to go to a native app. Okay. So you can go to a website and the website can uh, start a full screen oh, operation. So okay. you can have a game, a full screen game without any problem. Because right now you still have right the browser there. UI, the, right. the URL bar. Yeah. So now you need to to do that right now you need to compile the html5 app as a native web app mm -hmm. for example phone guy. 
yep. so for Fungaban. But maybe in the future we don't need Fungaban. We just need the browser and the right APIs to do that kind of stuff. Interesting. Now, the last question for you. How do yeah. you see HTML5 and JavaScript shaping the mobile world over the next you know, 18 months or so? Uh, well, right now, I, I, anyone in the, in the mobile space wanting to create apps is looking at HTML5. Mm -hmm. So the problem is that it's, it's like a minefield. So no one knows really if they want to go or not. They, they, they feel that it's a minefield. So they don't know where to make the next step. Should I go with that or not? So, but right now, JavaScript is more powerful thanks to mobile. I believe that we are talking about HTML5, we are talking about a lot of new JavaScript capabilities yeah. because of mobile, mm -hmm. because mobile is more hungry. Maybe because we don't have Flash on mobile, maybe because it's that, and, and part is part of the, the, the cost, right? We don't have Flash, so we need, we, yeah, we are more hungry we have for, right. for features. So that's why ha JavaScript needs uh, more power. So, for example, now we have, uh, we can realize how much battery are we using for, for, from JavaScript. Mm -hmm. So we need to deal with new stuff, right? like battery usage. Sure. So, but I believe that it's going to be, uh, let's say, it's going to be great for web developers because we have new stuff to do with JavaScript. Mm -hmm. You can do a lot more. And there is always the, the question about native versus web, right? But uh, the thing is that I believe that a lot of games and apps are going to be created using HTML5 in the near future. We still need to find a uh, solution for some of the bugs and problems we have now, but that's something that will change in the following months. Okay. Well, thanks so much for being with us. Appreciate Thank it. You.